So it has been that long since I filmed. I have been sitting here for what, two minutes with the camera actually recording, just procrastinating to actually start filming this video. I've really, really got to stop leaving it so long between videos. However, I have had something quite big happen to me recently that is quite personal and quite emotional especially when it comes to actually talking about it. I will actually do a video on it. I do plan on doing that at some point to hopefully help other people who are going through the same sort of situation. But right now it's very, very fresh. It's very teary whenever I talk about it. So that's why I've been absent for the last couple of months. However, I'm trying to focus back onto my YouTube channel and hopefully be motivated and happy enough to actually film again, which has been my main issue recently. I am just haven't been happy enough to actually sit in front of the camera, film and edit and talk to you guys because I don't want to film when I'm not happy. I don't know if you can hear, my dad's watching the footy out in the lounge room. Hmm. So I actually have a haul video that I have been planning on filming for quite a while. I'm an absolute idiot. I have filmed quite a few haul videos now and I know how they work, I know what I need for them. Somehow I forgot one of the key things and that is to actually write down the prices of the products or keep the receipts. I've thrown out the receipts knowing that I was filming this video. I don't know why. I'm blonde. Let's just, let's just say that. So what I am going to do though is leave a little list down in the description of everything that I was showing you guys and leave the prices next to it because I'm going to go online and look them up on the online store. So some of it may have been cheaper when I purchased it but these are the prices that I have found that will be listed below for you guys. A lot of the stuff in this haul is sort of travelly type stuff because I am going away in January and I needed a few more things to take away and found some things that would be great to take away that I didn't know existed until I went shopping recently. So this is mostly a travel-y type stuff haul plus a couple of random little things. So yeah, let's get started with it. Okay, so I'm actually just going to start with the first thing I picked up. And this is, it's the UE Boom 2. It's just like a portable speaker that you can either plug in the bottom. There's like a little outlet thing for a aux cable or the way I've been using it you download an app and you can use it via Bluetooth and just play all your music in that off this. I did get this on sale while the end of financial year sales have been on. Can't think off the top of my head how much it cost me but it's quite cheap. As I said I'll leave the price down below it'll probably be the full price for it because it's not exactly the cheapest. I did pick the more expensive one though because it is actually fully waterproof. So I have actually been using this in the shower a lot recently, either listening to music or when I'm toning my hair, because I have to do that with how bad my regrowth is. I will watch like YouTube videos and that while I'm doing that, which just makes the time go fast. There is a bigger one to this, but I decided to get like this smaller size because I am planning on actually taking this away with me in January. And the bigger one is a lot heavier and I always think about weight sizes when I actually buy stuff to take away. So yeah, I thought this would be good. It's always handy having someone with a speaker because some nights when you're away, you just want to be able to sit there and have a drink and listen to music and it's just handy being the one with the speaker. Everyone loves you for it. So in Big W, they have a massive sort of like travel section now and I'm really, really happy with it. I have bought a couple of things from there before, like little luggage locks. Things. I've got a new suitcase so I don't actually need them anymore, thank god. But I did find in there these airline headphone adapters because your actual headphone, like this headphone bit here, doesn't actually attach to a lot of airlines sockets. So you kind of need this little adapter thing that has a dual prong on the end of it that you plug your headphones in so you can use them on the airline. It's really, really annoying some of the headphones you get on an airline, some of them don't work. I've actually asked flight attendants for another set of headphones because my first set didn't work and then the second set I got still didn't work. So that was a really, 
really annoying eight hour flight. So yeah, I picked up one of these myself and another two for my dad and my sister because they are actually going to be meeting me in Phuket. So I thought I'd be nice and get them these so that way they can actually use their own headphones instead of using the crappy hairline ones instead. Because, you know, I'm a nice sister and daughter like that. I also picked up a new size of travel toothpaste because mine's run out. I only ever really like to take the travel size ones away with me. I don't see the point of taking the big tube one if I want to brush my teeth on my flight, can't take the big tubes on there. Two, extra weight in your luggage. You really only need this for like a month worth of traveling. You don't need the big toothpaste. And if you run out, every country sells toothpaste. And the majority of them will sell Colgate because it is a very, very well-known brand. I also bought a new pen. Not that I need a new pen. This is a rose gold one that has black ink. I got it from Typo. I'm obsessed with pens from Typo. It looked cool. It's rose gold and glittery. Like, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know how often I buy random crap that's rose gold and sparkly just because it's like that, not because I actually need it. I'm pretty sure my last haul I actually bought a packet of pens that were rose gold. But I bought this one as well. So, yeah, I'm going to put this one in my carry on luggage and use this for writing on everything. I also picked up this tiny little coloring in book. It's just like smaller pictures than a normal colouring in book. I thought that would come in handy for some of my flights and that. Just in case I get bored like watching movies and like I was planning on editing last holiday. Hopefully this one I will actually get some proper editing and filming because I'm a little bit more confident in vlogging now than what I was back then. But yeah. I just don't want to take a little one with me because I don't see the point of taking a big one and hopefully I can get just like a small packet of pencils to put in my like carry-on bag. We'll see. I like the mindfulness colouring in books. They've come in handy a lot for me recently. It's just like a good distraction when you're stressed, which airports can be quite stressful. Now you may have seen me actually buy one of these before. It's just like a rose gold little notebook. I have another one here which I did take away with me last time. It's one that I use for like all my ideas for videos, I write my list for videos in it and that. I picked up another one to actually use as a travel journal this time because I didn't actually take a travel journal away with me the last time I went away. Which is really, really weird of me. I did think I was going to be able to vlog more but that trip, the people I was with, I didn't really feel that comfortable vlogging in front of. So I kind of wish I did take a little journal away as well for some days where I just wanted to jot down little things. It's kind of like a nice little keepsake thing when you've travelled to like go back and read the little things that you've done while you're away. And I'm doing a bit more travelling this time so I thought I'd take this to write down all the different countries that I go to. And I like the fact that this one is a lot smaller than the other travel journals that I've had. This one isn't a proper travel journal, it's just like a journal but the other ones I've taken are quite big. So this one can just fit in my little hand luggage and I can write and jot down stuff as I go. I also have this luggage tag that says getting out of here. I bought this one thinking that this was going to be the one that was going to go on my suitcase. I then found my dad and my sister these black ones with rose gold writing. One's got a D for my dad and an S for my sister. I finally found one that said T and that was the one I was looking for but I grabbed this because I couldn't find that one. So now I have two luggage tags and I'm kind of unsure what to do with this one. I'm thinking I might just chuck it on my little backpack so that I have a tag on it saying that it is mine but yeah I just have a spare luggage tag I don't know what I'm going to do I think I might put it on my backpack I don't know yet I also picked up this really cool passport holder I've got my dad and my sister one similar Steph's is like black with white speckles or like lines all through it and it has some writing on it I can't remember what it said and dad's like a brown with just like travel or something written on it but unlike a lot of passport holders your passport just kind of slips in either side and you can open and close it and I find my passport doesn't fit and it looks like it bends my passport a little bit this one has one side that's clear that you just slip your passport inside there then it has a bit feel like your cards and that if you want to take like a card and that through the airport and that with you instead of having to take like heaps and heaps of wallets and a coin purse bit so, like, you don't really need to take a wallet, plus your travel wallet, plus a passport holder. And you got this. So, I can slip this into 
my bag next to all my travel documents and then they're easy to find in my bag because this is quite standout it's inside a bag so yeah these actually weren't that expensive either and I'm pretty happy with it yet again rose gold shiny though not glittery they didn't have glittery now I did buy two of these it's like an oversized eye mask that actually goes more like down there sort of thing instead of just like covering a little bit of your eyes I've gotten two because one to take away with me and my other one is in my drawer there because I wear it to bed obviously but it says powered by fairy dust I just thought it was cute because I like a lot of Disney stuff so therefore like Tinkerbell that type of stuff and yeah I do prefer black eye masks because the inside in that doesn't look as dirty as like colored eye masks do so yeah I've got this for my plane trip not that I sleep that much on planes anyway I don't sleep anywhere except for in a bed I'm really bad like that. I got myself a pair of headphones from Typo. These are black with a rose gold again and they can actually collapse up like that. I'm going to get a proper case I think for them to take away. I did take a pair away with me last time that were really, really cheap like $10 ones and they broke at Singapore airport on my first plane trip. So I wasn't able to use them the rest of my trip and that was what was our way for like 20 something days but yet again I've got these ones to go over the top block out a lot of the noise make people realize that I don't want to talk to them and it's easier to edit videos with something like this over top however this one's really hard to like adjust in that this doesn't have like a pull out thing does it oh it does okay that's as small as it goes well wow. now I actually smashed my drink bottle at some airport in India while I was away so I had to get a new one I like these ones that you can actually clip onto your bag I like to take water on a plane with me because they don't give you enough water at all on planes no matter what the airline they're horrible like that I've only had one airline which gave me a bottle of water but they were still only like that big they weren't very big at all it's a one liter bottle it says CBFTBH on it if you guys can actually read that under my light there I'm hoping that most people will understand what that means if you don't it stands for can't be fucked to be honest that just sums up my life half the time so I thought this was very very fitting for me I've got my sister a similar one not those writing though and I got my dad a Star Wars one because he wanted a Star Wars one that has Yoda on it they didn't have that when I went to pick mine, which is really annoying because I like Star Wars as well. But yeah, these drink bowls are quite good. Just pop it open like that. Drink out of it. Like you would a drink bottle. And yeah, as I said, I do like the fact that this can clip on to my bag while I walk around the airport. It's just easier. Not that I actually need this yet again. I buy so much stuff I do not need. I bought a new makeup case to take away with me. I just like the fact that it is pink and it has like rose goldy kind of writing and polka dots all over it. It says makeup first, then champagne. I don't mind the odd champagne for myself, so I thought this was quite fitting. It it's a decent like size inside, especially for something from Typo. It's got like a little zip inside here, so I can pop little bits and bobs into that. I thought it'd be good to take away at, like a nice uh, feeling. It's kind of like a fake pleather sort of feeling makeup bag. I don't actually own any makeup bags like this and yeah should actually stop me from overpacking the amount of makeup that I'd not well I would like to take away. I don't really take that much makeup away with me. I will be taking more this time because I actually needed a bit more than what I had away with me last time. Okay, so this is still actually on my phone. I didn't couldn't bother taking it off. I bought a new phone case because I've actually smashed my screen on my phone. You just can't see it there. But that's because I haven't actually had a phone case on my phone for about four months, five months. I only put a phone case on when I'm going out and that's my phone case that has a little slide bit in the back that I can fit my card and my ID in. So I thought I'd finally get one. I had a marble sort of effect one on it a while ago and I broke it so that's one of the reasons why I haven't had one on there. Found another one that fits my phone so hopefully this should give my phone a bit more protection now and not smash it any more than I already have. I think I've only got like a month left until I can get a new phone or something like that so 
trying to savor this as much as possible. Let's see how that goes because I don't treat my phone very well. And last thing I have is actually a light box from Typo. It's one of the small like A3 ones. I wanted it to go in the background so I could write stuff on there. Problem is, you can't actually see it properly in the background. Well, so see how I've written on here what I wanted to have in the background of the video. I thought it was cute. That looks cool. Tells you sort of what's going to be in the video and hashtag that time girl. That's cool, right? Let's put it in the background and see how it actually looks. See? You can't read it. So, I bought it for videos. You can't even see it. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. I'm thinking I might use it for Instagram photos or for blog posts. I don't know. I will figure something out, even if I have to maybe hold it up every time I'm taking a thumbnail. Leave me like a comment below what you reckon that I should do with it in my video wise or like Twitter or Instagram or blog posts. If you can think of something creative to do with it instead of just like, oh, we use it for parties and that. Obviously I'm going to use it for stuff like that, not that I ever actually host parties, but let me know something I could do with it please because otherwise that was a waste of 40 bucks. Yeah, this one actually has a price on it. And no, I wasn't going to get the bigger size because there was only one size bigger that I could get and it was huge and it was $90. I was not spending $90 on something that lights up. Not happening. And yeah, so that is everything for this like little random haul. Please let me know if you guys do like haul type videos. You tend to actually like those types of videos. If you do like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know you do like it. And leave me a comment down below anything that you guys have bought recently that you think that I should check out. Anywhere that you reckon would be fun for me to do a haul. I love to shop so we can always get more hauls out from me. Don't you worry. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.